All right, boys and girls, we're going to get down to it here. We're talking about permaculture and food web, terms you may not be acquainted with at all. So let me, let me go over it kind of briefly, starting with food web. Building a food web. Interaction, interactive simulations. A food chain or food web is an organized series of living things linked together by a food-related relationship. Simple enough. Animals draw the energy needed for survival from their food. At the base of such a chain, one finds the producers. The producers are terrestrial or aquatic plants. They make their own organic matter from nutrients, CO2, and light. So, food web. What's a good example of a food web? Well, here's one. Uh, Herb posted this on Instagram. If you look at it carefully, and I don't think I can make it much bigger, blow your own scream up if you if you need to. If you look carefully at this, you'll find a lot of matter on the bottom. There are leaves spread on the bottom. There's uh, lots of uh, little pieces of driftwood. Plants floating on the top. Now, he doesn't have any rooted plants here, I don't believe. Maybe one, two. Yeah, there are a couple. A couple of small rooted plants. Mostly, he has floating plants. The effect of that is to take nutrients out of the water column. Now, let's look at this substrate. It has one, two, two layers, a sand layer and a dirt layer. So he has a dirted deep substrate capped with sand. What is that producing? Well, it's producing a lot of life. In all of these rocks are hidden microfauna, microscopic life. And the little fish that are in here, which are so small we can hardly see them, if you look carefully, you'll see some. They're all feeding on the microfauna. Let's give you another example. Well, I don't want to do that one yet. We'll come back to that. Let's see. This or this. Let's do this one. This is Tisha's aquarium. She has leaves on the bottom. Again, a deep substrate. Lots of plants growing up and fish. Now, she does not put food in this tank. The fish eat the microfauna that are being produced by the deterioration of the leaves. So here we have a good example of a food web. The food web is growing uh, microfauna and microflora, which are feeding the uh, the fish that are in here, but are also feeding other microscopic life and ultimately are feeding the plants. The, the breakdown of the leaves creates nutrition for the plants. So this the leaf production in here, uh, which is called humus, is the foundation of the life in this tank. Okay, so that's that's food web. What about permaculture? Well, that's a little more difficult to get at and understand. Here's an example of permaculture, including a pond. Permaculture has to do with being sensitive to the, the plant and animal life including the insect life, and in this case, the aquatic life that's going on in the environment. It's easy to understand it 
or easier to understand it if you're farming or living living in nature, living as these people are on the side of a hill in Switzerland. Uh, the, the wholesale permaculture farm is one of the top permaculture uh, uh, demonstration farms in the world. Uh, it's a very large farm of several hundred acres. It is mountainous and contains an enormous variety of, of all kinds of farming as well as wild um, plant life and animal life. How does this pertain to an aquarium? Let's look at one. Let's look at this, for example. Uh, this is Eliuta's aquarium. Eliuta has published this picture on our Discord channel. If you haven't been to Discord, get over there and become part of that community. It's an opportunity for you to share with a lot of other people what you're doing there's a considerable amount of leaf litter on the bottom of this aquarium. There's a variety of plant life. In point of fact, what Eliuta has been able to do with this, again, deep substrate, a layer of dirt capped by a layer of sand, he's been able to create an environment in which it is possible to develop a wide range of plant life and animal life, including microfauna. The, the most exciting part of this from a permaculture standpoint is the ability to grow out a wide range of microfauna, of bacteria, and of fungus through the introduction of leaves, leaves that are partially composed in the wild and that come out of streams, uh, ponds, and so forth. So that kind of litter brings animal life in the form of microfauna and plant life in the form of microflora, bacteria, and fungus into the tank, which dramatically improves and increases the ability of this aquarium to sustain a wide range of, uh, of uh, life and to be, in effect, a permaculture. Now, we would not normally think of permaculture in a fish tank, and it is somewhat difficult to illustrate, not at all really difficult to achieve. All it really means is that you've created an environment in which a lot of different kinds of things can grow, which allows you to grow the kinds of plants and the kinds of fish that are going to be harmonious, are going to work together, that is, and are going to be, uh, going to create a balanced environment. So permaculture in an aquarium is a matter of creating an environment that allows you to diversify plant and animal life in such a way as to create a balanced aquarium. Now, there is hands-on involvement in that. You cannot do that without getting involved, without doing things to it. You make decisions about what's going to be in there, what's going to live there, what you prefer, what makes you happy and what, what keeps the animals and the plants happy. Let me give you an illustration. This I find utterly remarkable. Uh, this is done by LOF Days, D-A-Z-E, who has posted it on his, uh, on, on our Discord channel. You can check it out uh, on our Discord channel. And if you look at this, he has a group of aquariums all of which are deep substrate planted aquariums. That's a computer center in the middle there. Aquariums on the sides. Uh, he has artwork and plant life in this room that turn it into 
a veritable jungle, an absolutely remarkable, while some of it is not alive, and so really can't be described as a food web or permaculture, it nevertheless demonstrates and illustrates the nature of food culture and permaculture and creates that feel. I think it's remarkable. It, it delights my heart. And that's a big part of what permaculture is all about, is to create that sense of joy, that sense of balance, of beauty, uh, something that creates food for the farmer, food for the, those of us who are caring for it. Uh, we're going to be moving into some uh, plant life shortly that will be beneficial to, um, uh, to us personally as fish keepers. One of the plants that we're planning to, uh, to bring in and grow out is sweet wormwood. You might look that up. Uh, we'll be getting a large quantity of seed in shortly and are going to spread that that out among uh, those of us who are involved in this process on Discord. So you might come over there and join it, be a part of it. It is. It has medicinal properties, food properties. It's an astoundingly growing plant, a beautiful plant, and one that has uh, an amazing variety of uses, as well as being a beautiful emerged or immersed, emer emerged um, aquatic plant. So I hope that helps a little bit to describe what it is we mean by a food web and permaculture. Permaculture, as in what we do in the land on which we live, a food web, as in how we bring all of those elements together to create an environment that allows in our little aquariums for a very wide range of animal and plant life to thrive. So there you have it. There's a food web with permaculture as its foundational principle. Thanks for plugging in today and to be being part of this. Do join us over on Discord. This is a conversation and an effort that really needs to be ongoing. What we're really creating here is an opportunity to understand in our little aquariums how we ought to be acting in the world how we ought to be treating our environment. It's not simply a matter of trying to turn everything over to the government so they can fix it, because they won't. They will destroy it. It's a matter of us accepting personal responsibility for doing something, not simply screaming and hollering about the sky is falling, but actually doing something, actually getting hands-on. And we can practice the elements of this in our aquariums. So, happy tanking to you. And I hope your aquariums are all filled with a delightful food web and are based on principles of permaculture that will allow you to become a farmer in your fish tank and in your community. Bye for now. See you again soon.